Welcome to Green Numbers Data Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a number in a character variable to a numeric variable. So let's get started. In example one, we assign a value of 500.02 to the variable car in text format because our value is enclosed in quotes. Now we want to convert this value to numeric. The quickest and easiest way to do this is by adding a zero to it or multiplying the number by one. Now in SAS, you can't convert a data type from character to numeric, so you'll have to save the new value in a new variable. In this case, we're saving car plus zero to num1 and car times one to num2. So let's run this code. So we can see that our car variable is in, of character type and num1 and num2 are of numeric type but otherwise they look the same. In example two, we see the more standard way of converting text to number. Again, we have 500.02 in our car variable. This time we use the input function on car, storing in the standard eight byte format. So let's run this. Again, we see that num1 is numeric. Now one reason that input is standard is because the numbers aren't always in the same format. For example, if we add a dollar sign next to our text value, it is no longer in standard eight dot format. But we can input this value in dollar format. This is what we do for num2. So let's run this. So we can see that in num2, it imported correctly in numeric format. In the two examples we've seen so far, we had to assign our new value to a new variable. But what if we want to use the same variable name for our numeric value? We can do this by using the drop statement for our car variable, then rename num1 to car. So let's run this code. Now we see that our car variable is in numeric format. Now it's important to note, we didn't convert car to numeric. We got rid of our original car variable, then renamed our new variable in numeric format to car. So what if our car variable had numeric values and character values? In example four, we input a series of values to car. You can see we have character strings such as Steve, 42A, and at eight. But we also have different types of numeric values, including one with a comma and a decimal, and one with a dollar value. So let's run this block. So we can see that all of our values have been imported into our data set in the car variable. If we use the input function on a character value, we'd get an error in our log. So we have to tell SAS when to use the input function. First, we use compress function to get rid of commas and dollar signs. That makes it easier to recognize it as a number. Then we use a regular expression to pattern match a numeric value. In this case, we'll use the PRX match function. And the basic syntax is PRX match, then our pattern enclosed in forward slashes and quotes, followed by a comma, then our variable name, car. If our pattern is matched, then let's use the input function to convert our value to the numeric variable num. This should look familiar by now. So now we have to write our pattern inside the forward slashes. In regular expressions, a number is indicated by a backslash followed by a lowercase d. Because some of our values include a period, let's add that as well. However, periods are a special character in regular expressions. So we need to add a backslash in front of it so SAS knows it should be interpreted literally rather than as a special character. We need to enclose these items in brackets to let SAS know we're looking for any of these two items. The plus after the brackets tell SAS to look for one or more instances of a digit or period. Lastly, the caret in front tells SAS that our digit or period must start at the beginning of our string. And the dollar sign tells SAS a matching string must also end in a number or period. So this tells SAS to ignore 42A. This also requires us to use a strip function on car. So SAS recognizes the last non-blank value as the end of the string. Otherwise, all of our strings end in blank and would not match our expression. If this seems complicated, don't worry about the specifics. Just know regular expressions can be used for this purpose. 
I'll go in depth on regular expressions in another video. If the value doesn't match our regular expression, then num will be null. So let's run our code. We see that our numbers have been converted to numeric and our character values are null. Now that we have all of our numbers accounted for, we can use a format to make these in comma or dollar format. So let's make this in dollar format and run it. We can see that now all of our numbers are in dollar format. And that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get more content. Thanks for watching.